what is the sum of one third and one half? Now we have a little bit of a problem since we know that they're not the same on the bottom. We can't just add our trains together. So first of all, when I look at halves and thirds, I'm going to look at what two and three, the two train and the three train, um, how many of them stacked end to end together would add up so that they're of equal length. So I can compare them together and it looks like six. So one of those from each part, again, there's the six individual white ones. So if I look at um, one third and one half, well, one third of our red ones would be one red and then half of green would be one green. Adding them together, now that we have all of them in common with our unit fraction of our sixths, we see that we end up with five sixths. What is the sum of three fifths and one third? So I'm going to look at my yellow and my light green train and add them together end to end until they're equivalent. And I see that we reach 15. So if I take one third, we would end up with a single yellow and uh, three fifths, we'd end up with one, two, three light green ones, all constructed together over the 15 whites. And if I add them together, I end up with three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can also do a little bit of algebra. We're gonna call this find the missing rod. Since this is grades three through five, we're not actually doing algebra here. Although we are, we're doing it a little more sneakily. So I have four times what, so four of what, plus a yellow equals a blue. So I know that all together we have to equal a blue. And I know that I have to add something to the yellow, but I need four of something else plus the yellow to equal the blue. Well, if I look here, I only have one, two, three, four spaces left in order to reach a full blue. So the only thing that would fit in here four times would have to be whites. So four whites plus a yellow is the same as a blue. Three what minus a yellow equals four purples. Okay, so I have my four purples stacked here. And I know that when I take away this yellow part, I'm going to have three copies of what? Uh, minus the yellow equals four purples. Um, so I want to see what will take up this whole space so that when I take away the yellow part, I end up with four purples. I see that I have seven blacks that make up four purples and a yellow. And if I were to take away a yellow, I end up with four purples. So three blacks minus a yellow equals four purples. Let's say I have a brown and I'm going to take away a light green plus something and that has to equal a light green. So I know a couple of things for sure. My goal is to get to light green and I'm gonna start with the brown and take away something. So I'm gonna take away something that is a light green plus something else. Well, when I look at this space here, I would need a light green and a red to cover the remaining space. So if I took my brown and took away the light green plus the red area, I would be left with just light green. It'd be like taking this light green and this red and almost putting them on top of this area here to get a better visual. Two what plus a purple is equal to five copies of a yellow minus a light green. So I'm gonna start with the yellow minus the light green. When I take yellow and I subtract light green, I have 
two for my space left. So that would represent just a red. So I need five copies of red. That has to equal two of what plus a purple. So if I put my reds, my five copies of my reds down here, and I put my purple on top, what would two of what would fill this area? Two light greens. So two light greens plus a purple is equal to five times or five copies of a yellow minus a light green. So we have seen the following concepts developed using Cuisinier rods. Just at a basic level, we can delve so much more deeper but our time is limited, so it's good to get a little feel for what these, these parts can do. We've seen unit fractions, least common multiple, which led to the least common denominator, comparing of fractions, fractional equivalence, visualizing fractions to milestones. We visualized a fraction to which was closer to the whole. You could visualize fractions closer to the half. We added fractions but it's the same idea as subtracting fractions with like denominators. The same is true for subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. We found solving equations, which is like finding congruence, having the left be equal to the right. And we could also do multiplication since we did five copies of that red at the very end there. There are so many more ways in which we can use Cuisinier rods, such as ratios, which will in, in the fifth grade years, and decimals, which we're not going to touch base on, but are able to do with Cuisinier rods. I hope that you certainly delve more into these. If you're finding them interesting, I could give you some more resources. We just simply don't have enough time to dig deep into each one of these different manipulatives, but rather dabble in them a little bit so you get the feel for them as you approach your own classroom and to see all the varieties in which you can use. So I hope you enjoyed them as well.